absolutely. Taking that as an example, then let's say somebody does have, you know, let's say it's a partial or even even a full, but just how active can they be once they've had that done? Uh, the sky is the limit. I never limit my patients. I will say to them, a lot of people come to me and they say, well, uh, doc, after the operation, can I ski? Can I go windsurfing? Can I cycle, et cetera, et cetera, tennis, fo football? Uh, and I always say to my patients, it's not my job to limit you in what you do. I can advise you. I can tell you what the implications will be if you go down that route, but it's your joint. It's your knee your hip so i won't stop you from horse riding or paragliding or whatever it is you want to do yeah but you have to decide that with the information in hand what are the implications to you if you go down that route the younger you are the more sporty and active you are the quicker you will wear out any joint replacement operation because no joint replacement that we've designed thus far has a guaranteed life expectancy as long as your life expectancy yeah. You know, if you're if you're a, a 20 year old and your hope is to carry on playing competitive sport and you need to have a, a joint replacement, you'd be very unusual. You know, it's very rare that that uh, that comes up. But clearly you've got maybe 60 years ahead of you. Uh, I think nobody can expect a joint replacement to last that long. Right. So then you have to consider, am I going to limit the amount of sports I do after my joint replacement surgery so that I eke out as much of a lifespan from that knee replacement or am I going to go for it health or leather because that's my quality of life now well that's not for me to decide that's for the the patient to decide based on my advice can you put that into any, any sort of context though so in terms of you know is it a case of it say somebody you know they you know obviously they understand what you just said and you say well look you know more active rather than we're going to wear it out fair enough but is it a case of like if somebody went back to impact sports running football whatever is it a case they're going to wear the knee out twice as quick you know bit more you know like can, can we is there any data or any, any kind of even anecdotal ideas on was it very hard? i think there are so many factors here uh, how heavy is the person therefore how much force they're putting through the uh, the implant and um, it comes back to what we discussed in terms of accuracy of the surgery an implant that has been put in perfectly compared to one that's just a little bit out of kilter yeah that one may well wear out more quickly right the the operation of knee replacement surgery is not just an operation with an implant the soft tissues how you manage those soft tissues the, what we call balancing of the knee replacement so the ability to end up with a knee that that feels and moves in the right way that's quite a, a skillful technique that you know the robot doesn't do that for you necessarily that's where where the surgeon is still you know an important person uh, in, in theater and so if you have to do releasing of ligaments or balancing of ligaments during the surgery, how well that happens, well, maybe that will have a bearing on how well the knee replacement lasts as well. Because in a knee replacement where the two surfaces are just a little bit out of alignment and there is give, yeah. then you're going to get more forces through the polyethylene and therefore maybe earlier debris formation, early deterioration.